Hi, it's Jeff Challen. So in the second part of the lab, we're talking about how to use external APIs. These are powerful services that um, frequently now run in the cloud that you can use to bring really cool capabilities into your applications. So you spend a little bit of time sort of experimenting with the Microsoft Cognitive Services Computer Vision API just a minute ago. Um, that web interface is fine if you want to fool around and get a sense for how things work. But when you actually want to build this into your application, what you need is what we sometimes refer to as programmatic access to the API. You need to be able to use it as part of a computer program, in this case, uh, a simple app that we're going to, not an app, a simple program we're going to build using IntelliJ in a second. To do that, you need it's usually uh, need something called a key. Uh, this is something sometimes referred to as an API key. What this does is it identifies you to the service so that the service can do things like determine how many times you're calling the service, um, limit your usage of certain things, or start to bill you as appropriate. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, try, we're going to create, in this case, a key for the Computer Vision API. Um, so I'm going to navigate to the link that's included as part of uh, the MP, and then I'm going to hit Get API Key. This is going to uh, ask me to sign off on something and then ask me to select a preferred account. Um, this is kind of up to you in terms of what you choose to use. I think I still have a Microsoft account. Let's find out. Um, maybe not one that I can access through um, an incognito window. But once you do this, um, the screen that you'll, once you uh, finish this process, the screen that you'll end up with is going to look something like this. So I've logged in through GitHub, I've created my key. Um, you'll note that I have 5,000 transactions over the next month, um, and I can make tw up to 20 per minute. Um, here is my key. I actually have two keys. And one thing to notice is that I'm using the West Central US um, API endpoint. So these two pieces of information are going to be important when we start working um, with the app that we're about to start building in just a second.